time now for your morning fix of news headlines. So let's check in with Lisa Hayward. She's at the Sun Sentinel News Desk. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Dave and Kristen. Good morning, South Florida. A secret recording by a 19-year-old man may have helped plantation police arrest his father and brother. The duo is accused of killing a Nova Southeastern University professor. But as the morning show's Wayne Rooston tells us, defense attorneys don't seem concerned. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, just go ahead and cry. It's fine. Witness and widow Linda Morrissey describes through tears the armed kidnapping, robbery, arson, and stabbing that left her husband Joseph Morrissey dead in their home. Randy Tundador Jr. was arrested first. I don't care what you do, bro. Because okay. really, dog, I know I didn't do it. Okay. <laughs> do you know who did it? I don't know who did it. But court records state his father, Randy Tundador Sr., admitted to committing the crime in a recording made by his other son. Sean Tundador says he wore a police-issued recording device to save his brother, Randy Jr., from taking a murder rap. Yeah. He was doing it because your dad told him to do it. Yeah, but he was doing it more because he felt like he had to coming out of my dad. Sure. Your dad manipulated him, it, it appears, or, or convinced him to do this for whatever reason. Yeah. But since his father's arrest, Sean has changed his story, saying detectives have twisted his words. And Randy Jr.'s attorney says that kills Sean's believability. His credibility right now, as far as I'm concerned, is basically nil because he's given so many contradictory statements. Sean Tundador is quoted as saying he recorded his father's confession to protect himself and his family from his father. I'm Wayne Rooston for The Morning Show.